Welcome back. Anthony Fury in for Ezra. Well, it's become a global phenomenon. Toronto Star reporter created this Twitter hashtag, been raped, never reported. And within minutes, countless women and men were sharing their stories online. Sun News contributor Gina Phillips joins us with more here in studio. So very interesting. I've seen mm -hmm. a lot of this uh, you know, proliferating online and people from all sorts of countries yeah. are picking up on this. Obviously, response to the Jean Gomeshi conversation. Tell me more. Tell me your thoughts on this. Yeah, it really blew up late last week. Sue Montgomery, and uh, she works for the Montreal Gazette, a longtime journalist. Antonia Zerbasis as well from, uh, the, she's a former Toronto Star reporter. These two uh, were talking about uh, the Gumeshi scandal uh, and how there are a lot of people uh, that aren't um, speaking out and they have gone through uh, sexual assault, uh, been in comfortable situations, that sort of thing. And those two had their own stories to share. Uh, both so say that they uh, were sexually assaulted, raped uh, by people that they trusted um, throughout their life, twice each, actually. So they shared their story, uh, then used the hashtag, being raped, never reported. And it blew up. Uh, we're talking people in Saudi Arabia, uh, Australia, India, giving their stories, men and women, about things that they've never shared with anyone. And they, they, they're either sharing it with the online world, or if they're not comfortable with that, they said, for the first time ever, I felt comfortable telling my husband, telling my family members. Uh, so it's interesting, this conversation about why women don't speak out sooner, and uh, f feeling the strength in numbers, I suppose, uh, in this case, to finally do so. Uh, but, and I hope the strength in numbers results then in people reporting things, because my whole takeaway from all of this, I've written this yeah. in some past columns and monologues, you should be reporting this stuff. It's serious stuff. And I get the idea, it's hard and so forth, but, but we should, the response to that should be, all right, well, you know, go do it. And Chief Bill Blair came right. forward and said, I want anyone to come forward with allegations. And people said, because he said that, they realized they would be taken seriously. They mm -hmm. were taken seriously. So, so I hope the takeaway isn't for people to have this, you know, global public square conversation. Right. I, I, I hope the takeaway is, l please go report it now, because you should. Because right. people should be held accountable for their crimes. Uh, the question also being, though, uh, why do people not feel comfortable reporting it? And why haven't they? Because um, if you look at that, you kind of start to understand and realize why action isn't necessarily taken. Uh, for instance, uh, like I said, it's often with people that you trust, uh, that you feel betrayed by, are often in a position of power. Um, I believe 89%, I think it is, uh, you, of uh, um, victims knew their attacker. Um, you also n don't necessarily have the confidence or the self-esteem or the support system in your own life to come forward. And that is a huge psychological thing that you have to get past. Some people go 10 years before they even realize that they were raped. That's, that's mind-boggling to me, who has never had to go through that, who, uh, you know, I, I'm a, I have a lot of support around me. I, am, I consider myself a confident person. But when you hear these stories, you go, oh, we don't understand fully uh, what it is that these women went through and it's really tough to judge so what can we do then as a society so that this yeah, kind of crisis what I'm asking. doesn't take what can we do right okay so i specifics right so it because we all we no one thinks this is mm -hmm. good everyone wants this to of stop of course and i mean we've heard a lot lately about rape culture and a lot of uh, people are kind of going well does that exist i mean what is rape culture anyway? Well, I think when uh, something minor... I'm mean, really tough on that term because rapes clearly I know exist. You have. They're legal. They should, you know, go after it. Totally. Thankfully, we don't live in these some of these South Asian countries right. where you can get away with it. Mm -hmm. The police don't, if you come in, the police don't beat you up for reporting a rape like we know they do in some other countries. So I, I want to focus towards mm -hmm. holding people who have committed crimes to account rather than having these very broad kind of rambling discussions mm -hmm. that are very serious for the people involved, but they don't, the, it doesn't move anything forward. And if it's mm -hmm. therapy for them, that's fine. And if they're calling it therapy, right. I get that. But I want to move it forward and I want the action plan. And the action plan just seems to be, if only two people know, and the predator isn't going forward, yeah. then the victim's got to go forward. And we can't, we can't go into everyone's house and say, are you being raped, are you being raped? We got to just encourage people, get your inner strength, believe in totally. yourself, fight for yourself, and then go report if you've been the victim of a crime. All we can do is inspire inner strength in people. That's what seems to be the case 100%. Inner strength is a huge part of it. I agree with that. Building up the individual, making sure that everyone is in a comfortable working environment. Um, also not sloughing off the early warning signs, I would say, of a person That's or an individual. That's the Gomeshi narrative. 
Exactly. I mean, a lot of people are saying, I feel like an enabler because I kind of knew that this behavior was taking place. Now, to be fair, you can't take someone who just says a creepy comment and assume that they're going to do something bad to somebody. Being a jerk is not a crime. Being a jerk is not a crime. But if you want to build up healthy workplaces, you can really... Really take you can it say seriously. don't be a jerk, buddy. You can say don't be a jerk. You can, um, when women come forward, don't say something like, uh, well, what can you do to make this a less toxic work environment? It's the Gomeshi line. Exactly. Uh, we got to go soon. I know I told you earlier I got a call. I'm coming out on the weekend where I yeah. say, I think we're in some, some dangerous territory right mm -hmm. now in this discussion because I see all these bloggers coming forward, everyone yeah. saying sexual harassment in the workplace all the time. And then sometimes they are talking about the inappropriate lines and the jokes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the challenge there is I feel like, because we're all supposed to come forward and, and dig deep and, and find cases where it's happened to us. And I almost think that d diminishes and downplays people who are coming forward and saying, I've been raped. It's like the anti-bullying mania. Yeah. I thought about that a lot because there were kids who were being, they weren't being bullied, they were being beaten. They were being beaten aggressively. People were threatening to kill them. And then other people turned around and said, oh, I'm being bullied too. But they weren't really. They were just being told, you look stupid on Facebook. Mm -hmm. One's a crime. One, put on your big boy pants and deal with it. And I don't want that happening, this sexual assault. Rape's a crime. Yep. Someone just, you know, being a douche in the workplace. I, I don't, let's not lump them all in together because it actually diminishes and disrespects the rape victims. Totally, and as much as social media get, lets people get that kind of stuff out, really little tiny things that happen in their life that they feel were a big deal, that they want to talk about, they want to be part of this story. They want to make it about them. They want to make it and about it's them. And not, it's not about you, totally. it's about the, the, the real victims here. Right, so as much as it is strength and, strength and numbers, I think it's encouraged really serious stuff to go forward. I agree with you that it, it, you know we don't want to take away from the real story. Gina Phillips, mm -hmm. Thank you.